Are you struggling to cover the entire periodontology syllabus for your upcoming INICET November exam? Afraid of the flaps, indices, and mitos? Feeling overwhelmed how to cover them all? Today in this video, I will be breaking it down step by step on how to revise your periodontology subject for the upcoming INICET exam. I am Dr. Sahil Indra from Team Meritors. In this video, we will be sharing that how to cover the periodontology from the first chapter to the last chapter and how to use the smart approach to cover within 10 to 12 days as we only have a three months left. The step one is studying what matters. The first key is that do not skip any chapter because perio is one such subject wherein all the subject chapters are important. You cannot skip any particular chapter because there are around 16, 17 chapters and usually they ask one to two questions from each with more emphasis on a few chapters such as implants and recent advances, the surgical aspect, microbial complexes, basic questions and the instrumentation aspect and the image based ones. So let's see one by one. The first most important tip here is you have to start when you're reading Perio from our Meritors app, you have to start in reverse. That is, first you have to start from the miscellaneous topics, the implants and the miscellaneous. Because most of the times they are asking questions from these only. Because in the miscellaneous we will have in the extra cover, the implants will be covered. Along with that we will have a recent advances such as lasers, newer techniques for renectomy and all. And any other questions such as the local and systematic drug delivery systems and all where you will be given the doses of various agents like doxycycline, tetracycline, etc. These are the type of questions frequently asked in AIMS INICT exams. Other than this, the surgical aspect is very important. Flap designs, the internal bevel incision and all. Uh, Fercation involvement classification, specifically the Glickman classification. Resective and regenerative osseous surgeries. And again, in the this part also, they will be focusing more on the newer advances more on the recent things like PRP, PRF will come and other than this things like Mdogain. So they are going to ask enamel matrix derivatives. These are the recent advances in these subjects, in these topics. Then mucogen diaval surgery is also a part of this. And third, one very important question in AIMS exams is usually in every INICT if you see there will be one or two questions from this topic. The microbial complex is red, orange, green. So they will be asking you either which of the following is from this complex or they can ask you rule the odd one out that which is not from this complex. So let's say they give which is not from a red complex bacteria and they will give you four options you have to rule out. So this table is a must for aims. Other than this, the basic chapters, plaque, calculus, periodontal pockets, here they will ask you the composition. How many days it takes for the calculus to calcify? Very, very easy things. So Perio is all about easy things, but the topic coverage is more. It is a vast, sub vast syllabus, but easy to cover. Second is, this is a universal thing for all the subjects where you have to do at least the last 10 years paper from let's say 2015 or 16 up to 2024 for the AIMS or the INICT. Then there are a few set of special questions which are given in the tasks. In the INICT power pack, you will find two tasks for Perio. One is the image based questions and other is the special question set. In this, you will get the most important content for Perio. The most important ones are the AIMS SR questions. In Perio, there a lot of questions are direct repeats from the SR ship papers. And this will also cover your recent advances and any articles or journal based questions, which are again the key because in AIMS, there is specifically we see more of SR questions and article questions are there in every subject, especially the dental ones. Step four is revise and practice. So you have to revise at least three to four times for all the topics and you have to learn the art of time management. Now time management will only come with repeated practice and Perio is a subject wherein you can actually save a lot of time because the questions are usually direct and short other than a few surgical questions which have more technical details. And you have to get used to the negative marking from now itself so you do not make mistakes or do not panic in the exam hall. So during the mock exam also keep it keep the negative marking part in your mind. 
last but not the least neither over attempt nor under attempt so you have to follow a balanced approach how you will follow the balanced approach is so the idea is we have around three scenarios here so in the first scenario you do not have any idea about the option or the question in this case best do not attempt if you attempt this question the risk is very high because you do not know any of the option you do not have any idea about the question basically it is all greek and latin to you so do not attempt such type of question and just better to leave it second is wherein you have a vague idea about the question you have heard it somewhere but confused within three or more options now when you are confused within three or more options it is a very high risk question to attempt so either you are confused among all the four which is the first one in this you are confused mostly among three options and you have some idea from where the question is which subject which topic better not to attempt such question also as it is high risk only attempt these type of questions when you feel it is very easy level question which most of the other candidates would have gotten right so to stay in the competition you may try to make a safe guess on these type of questions but keep in mind that it is still risky to attempt such a question as you are confused already and might lead to negative marking third scenario is you do not have any idea about the question third scenario is where you do not have any idea about the question but able to rule out at least two options either using the smart guessing or option elimination strategies so once this type of a question you can attempt because you have to choose one out of the two options so 50% chances that you might get it correct also this type you can attempt the first two better advised not to attempt and this is how you will decide which question to leave in the exam hall which question to attempt and this pattern you should develop right from the mock mock time so now let's recap what all we have to focus on in perio now first thing is you have to focus on the implants lasers and other recent advances so you have to start your preparation from the last and not from the first when it comes to aims if you see the middle chapters in your perio syllabus the gingival enlargement gingivitis and all these are not very important mostly they will ask either from the first three four chapters where you have the basic components of gingiva periodontium and all that or clark calculus and or the later stages where you have implants recent advances and the surgical aspect so this is the core syllabus for aims inicd when it comes to perio but now the trick here is like for example in one of the exams what they did is they asked a simple question wherein they said that okay tell which of the which of the pocket will be there so which pocket has uh, the pocket is between the tooth and the alveolar bone so the answer to that is intra bony pocket now they will give you very confusing options one will be supra bony one will be intra bony other options will be like pseudo pocket and all so if in this type of question you are not prepared and you go wrong in this suppose you mark pseudo pocket instead of intra bony now this is a very 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 easy question because anyone who has studied the topic of periodontal pocket which is again in the middle chapter which is not very important so that is why you cannot skip any topic because from those topics which you have not read perio will ask always very easy questions hardly they will ask from surgical or implants sometimes they will ask the difficult questions even in implants if you see the one favorite question is there they will ask the classification given by mish from d1 to d4 so these are the type of questions they will ask you which type of bone is in the anterior maxilla which bone is in the mandible so these are very very common questions if you get these wrong then your score will go down so the best advice is do not skip any topic but at the same time focus on the sr papers recent advances and the topics which i have told you now with this we come to the end of this video hope you liked the video and if you like the content and want to watch more videos follow us on instagram and subscribe on our youtube channel for more such videos and if you have not downloaded the mentors app yet you can download it from the play store or the app store thank you and have a nice day